Hi guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about episode 3 of Miss Marvel. Now, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers in this review, so stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. So, here's my review for episode 3 of Miss Marvel. It's good that Kamala isn't related to Kamran, and instead, Kamran's mother Namja and her friends knew Kamala's great-grandmother Aisha and their jinn, and they needed Kamala to use the bangle to send them back to their dimension. When Kamala met them, they seemed nice. But when Kamala said that she was going to need time to send them back, them being nice didn't last long. Also, since in the flashback, the Jin said that there were two bangles, but they only found one, I'm wondering where the other bangle is. Also, I didn't notice this when I watched the episode, but I realized it after I watched a video on the channel New Rockstars. In the flashback scene, there's an overhead shot, and on the ground, you can see the symbol for the Ten Rings. So it looks like Shang-Chi and Kamala might have a connection. I understood why Nakia was upset about the Department of Damage Control showing up at the mosque while they were counting the votes for the board election, but I was proud of her for standing up to Agent Deaver. It also seemed like Kamala was going to tell Nakia that she was the one that everyone's calling Nightlight. But after hearing about the Department of Damage Control raiding the mosque, she decided not to say anything. But I was happy for Nakia when it was revealed that she won the election and was a board member. I felt really sorry for Kamala when she was listening to her family talk about Nightlight. Especially since Maniba said that her mother should be ashamed. Obviously, Maniba doesn't know that Kamala is Nightlight, but that was still a really hard thing for Kamala to hear her mom say. So I really liked when Kamala asked her Mox's mom what Nightlight should do to prove that she's good, and he said, good is not a thing you are, it's a thing you do. When Namja told Kamran that she was going to force Kamala to help them, I was glad that Kamran went to Amir's wedding so he could warn Kamala. It proved that he really does care about her, even though I did feel sorry for Bruno since he interrupted their dance. And I also was worried about Kamala when she was hiding from Namja and the other Jin, since she's new to being a superhero, so it's hard for her to fight them. And when her and Bruno were cornered, I was wondering what was going to happen. And then Kamala and Namja touched the bangle and they saw the vision of the train. 
And then the agents from the Department of Damage Control showed up and arrested the djinn. So that was the first good thing that the Department of Damage Control did for Kamala, even though they didn't know it. I understood Nakia's reaction when she found out that Kamala is Nightlight. And I hope that she understands once Bruno explains it to her. Also, when Kamala went home and her family asked her to tell them what was going on, I was thinking that she was going to tell them, but I understood why she told them that she can't. I can't wait to see episode four since this episode ended with Kamala's grandmother Sana calling her and Sana asked Kamala if she saw the train and Sana said that she saw it too and told Kamala that her and Maniba have to come and see her. It's obvious that the train in the vision is the train from the story that Yusuf told in episode two about Sana. I'm wondering how Kamala is going to get Maniba to let her see Sana, especially since Sana didn't go to Amir's wedding and it's clear that Maniba doesn't have a great relationship with Sana. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw the episode, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my previous Miss Marvel reviews, check out the playlist. And if you want to see my future Miss Marvel reviews or any of my other future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!